The main event today, a consumer confidence reading. Stocks have been wobbly. Recession talk is in the air. The housing market has stumbled. Interest rates are sure to keep rising. It's a lot. Let's bring in Bess Friedman, CEO of Brown Harris Stevens, a real estate company with 3,000 agents in Florida, New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Boy, do we need to talk to you today. So it, it is a lot. I mean, how are consumers feeling? I mean, the housing market seems to have rolled over a little bit. Are people feeling a little better about things? I think um, there's there's a bit of uncertainty. I mean, you rattled off a lot of things. <laughs> um, so there's some uncertainty in the market, and consumer confidence is a little bit wobbly. Uh, rates have ticked up, as we know, and Powell's speech, I think, you know, didn't help the environment. Right. But there's still opportunities out there. And even though rates are up, I think buyers can negotiate more because sellers are going to have to capitulate their prices. So there's an opportunity out there. And it's not all doom and gloom. I mean, look, the jobless rate is at three and a half percent. That's good news. You just said gas prices have gone down. Good news. Um, so it's not all doom and gloom. So your so the rate hike situation, rates are going to continue to keep rising. Right. But people don't buy a house sort of leveraging interest rates. They buy a house because their kid's turning five and they want to move to a suburb where they like the schools, right? I mean, so it's still life making these choices, not interest rates? Thank you, Christine. <laughs> Such an important point because, again, the market doesn't instruct us. We do what matters to us. Our circumstances determine what we decide. If we have to move, if we have a new baby, if somebody passes away, that determines what we decide to do next. And obviously, when rates go up, sellers... And buyers have to sort of maneuver that. Buyers have more negotiability in what they're doing. And sellers have to, you know, be more flexible with prices. It's been, I mean, for to use a technical term, insane in Florida, <laughs> New York, and New Jersey real estate, where you are, you know, where you dominate. Um, has it cooled off in your view? I mean, those days of 200 couples in line on a suburban street for a house ready to pay cash, is that over? I mean, there's less of that now. It depends. There's... A lack of supply in places like Montclair, New Jersey, a lack of supply. Palm Beach, lack of supply. Um, but in New York, in New York City, for example, there is a decent amount of supply. So, you know, the, the market has come more into balance today, which is better because when it's sort of, you know, low supply, high demand, you know, the market is challenged. But right now, I think New York City is in a good place. So rapid fire with a minute left. Yes. 30 seconds advice to sellers, 30 seconds advice to buyers, go. Okay, I think sellers need to be realistic on their prices. They can't overprice now. It's not a time to be aggressive or ambitious. And buyers take advantage. Even though the rates are high, you can negotiate really well um, depending on the area. Um, and buying the, a home is the American dream. It's the best investment of your life. I always believe that people should invest. If you have a little bit of money, buy a home. All right.